Joining us now is NSU head baseball coach Jake Hendrick. Coach Hendrick, you guys are getting ready to start the 2016 season. Um, first of all, just touch on a little bit, you know, tell us a little bit about how, about how the team's going, about how preseason is going. Things have been going really good. We've been fortunate with the weather to get outside quite a bit. Uh, guys are moving in the right direction. They're working hard. Uh, we got a fun group. You know, every day has, has been very enjoyable. And, you know, I think we're making progress, you know, every single day towards, you know, whatever the end goal might be. And as most people already know, this is your first year as a head coach. Uh, you took over for Travis Jansen. Um, just talk about how the transition is going personally. Personally, I think the transition is going good. You know, um, I've been very happy with how things have gone. And, you know, every day I'm trying to get better, too, same as our players. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're going at it to the same way. I think that will continue throughout my career. So whether it's the first year or the 10th year, whatever it is, um, it's been fun, though. You know, everything is definitely new and first experiences for all of these things. So I'm just trying to enjoy it. Well, um, you guys got an exciting team coming back. Uh, a lot of uh, same guys will be playing in the field, but a lot of new guys on the mound. So, you know, just a little, talk a little bit about the team. Yeah, I think that, you know, exactly what you said. We do, we have experience in the field and we added some pieces. You know, I think we're definitely going to look different than we have in the past, which I think is good. We've added pieces that do a lot of things that are very, very good and are going to help us. So I think we can run out different lineups on different days and feel very good about you know our chances to compete at a high level. And then, like you said, on the mound, we are different. I mean, uh, we lost some very capable guys last year that started for us. So we're going to be different uh, from that standpoint. But again, you know, I've been happy with the progress and the work ethic and things like that. And I think guys are prepared to step into those roles and, and have success and, you know, that, that's what you want. Um, Coach Jansen was able to get the, the Riverhawks to at least 25 wins all four years he was here. You know, kind of really built, built a good nucleus within the program. Um, how do you continue that success? Yeah, I mean, exactly what you said, though. You're trying to continue the success that's been happening around here in three straight MIAA postseason appearances. You know, those are things that we talk about in culture was a big deal. I was lucky to be here for two years under Coach Jansen. So, you know, I knew what we had culture-wise already. Mm -hmm. And so building on that and continuing to, to make that better and better, and, you know, that, that's what we're after. We talk about it every day. Uh, it's something we address, and we know the importance of continuing to try and get better because, you know, to say that, you know, yes, we've made the MIAA tournament three years in a row, to say that's the end goal and, you know, really what we're trying to strive to do, you know, that would that would probably be incorrect. You know, we're really trying to push the limit and see how far we can take this thing, whether it's this year or year after year, just trying to get a little bit better and, and continue to rise throughout, obviously, a very, very competitive conference. As you mentioned, you, you have been with the program. This is your third year now. Um, you were the pitching coach for the mm -hmm. first two years. So you know about the, the rigors of this tough MIAA conference. Mm -hmm. Speak a little bit about the conference and, you know, what it takes to compete at this level. Gosh, I, you know, it's just – Day in and day out, you just really can't afford to take a day off. Uh, you know, I think that the toughest part is you can come out on a Friday and play great and um, get a nice win, but that doesn't mean Saturday and Sunday are ever guaranteed. Nobody nobody rolls over in this conference. Every game is is tough, and you know, I think that's that's the best way to classify how this conference goes day in and day out. Anybody can beat anyone, and you know, the separator is is usually the team that's willing to grind out each and every day and and know how difficult it is. February 2nd um, against East Central, home opener for you, yeah. season opener for you. What uh, What's going through your mind? Is it safe, just uh, business as usual? Are you going to have a little extra jitters? or? Yeah, I mean, I think I'd be lying if I said it's just business as usual, you know. Uh, the first game, you want to get a win. Uh, opening day is always special in baseball. And so, and for me, being the first one as a head coach, but at the end of the day, it, it's not about what I do or anything like that. It's it's about what our players do and can we execute at a high enough level to, to be successful. And, you know, we'll try and do it on the February 2nd. We'll try and do it on April 30th. Uh, you know, it doesn't really matter what day we roll out.
We'll try and cheer them all the same. All right, Coach Hinder, well, we are all really excited to get the season underway. Um, like we said, February 2nd against East, against East Central, the home opener. Um, hopefully all the fans come out, and uh, good luck this year. Thank you very much.